Okay, in this video I'm going to continue on my tutorials on quantum statistics. This is video number 55 and I'm going to discuss the standard deviation. I'd like to draw your attention to my website universityphysicstutorials.com So, why am I going to talk about this? The reason is it's used all the time, in particular in quantum physics. We're always talking about the standard deviation because that quantifies our error or our, it's used, I suppose, again in our probability okay or our uncertainty I should really say so you'll see this in the derivation of the uncertainty principle you'll require this particular formula down here so the standard deviation quantifies the spread of measurements about some mean or expectation value okay that's the definition of the standard deviation and the formula that I'm going to show you is that sigma is the placeholder I'm going to give for standard deviation and it's given as follows it's a square root of your, we'll say your your value squared, the average of your value squared, minus the square of your average. All right. Now that might look a bit mad, but to be quite honest, it's very straightforward. So first of all, the definition of the standard deviation it's defined as the square root of the mean of the square of the deviations from the mean. Wow, that sounds that's nuts. So let me just write down. But by definition, I suppose this is the simplified version, or the, uh, the yeah, the simplified version. It's the it's the following: it's the square root of the average. So use these angle brackets for average. So your the value of your observable minus the average value of your observable. Okay, and this is squared. Now, this hopefully makes a bit more sense because if you look at the term in the middle. Let's say we have some sort of a Gaussian distribution. And our Gaussian distribution is center, centered around the average of A. So what this A minus the average of A quantifies, let's say we have, this is our value of A, it quantifies, we'll say, the, how far you are away from the average. Or maybe you're over here. It quantifies how far you are away from the average value. Next, you might say to yourself, well, why do we square it and then take the square root? Well, the reason we do this is the result sigma here, the, the standard deviation, is often called the uh, root mean square deviation or the RMS deviation. Now, perhaps it's clear to you why we do this, but it's we need to square the deviations because the deviations from the mean here, as we can see, they're equally, they're usually equally distributed above and below the mean in such a way that averaging the deviations themselves goes to zero. So the only way we can get this positive quantity which we can evaluate is by looking at the RMS or the squared value. So what we do is we find the, the, the distance or the average distance of your, your, your value from its average. You square it in order to get a positive value and then take the square root again. And now notice of course we're taking the average inside of this as well. So that, that hopefully makes a bit of sense to you. So I'm just going to rewrite that and then just do a very small piece, piece of algebra to uh, simplify it. So, so we started with, we'll say your, your, your a minus the average of a. Then we have to square that, take its average and take its square root like that. And we call that sigma. So let's just do, let's just Let's do the square here. Okay, so sigma is the square root. So we still have our average. So it's going to be the average of a squared minus twice a times the average of a plus the average of a to be squared. And we have this, I'm actually do this in another color. We have this, we still have to average this whole thing. All right. So now what I'm going to do is bring in what I've done in my red brackets, my red angle brackets, that particular average. And what we're going to get is as follows. We're going to get the average of a squared minus twice the average of a times the average of a. Okay? Because we'll say this this red brackets when I bring it in, it won't affect what is already being averaged, being averaged. And we're going to have this here. Okay? And we get our square root as normal. All right, so we can rewrite this very simply. That's sigma, 
the standard deviation or the RMS deviation is simply going to be equal to the average of A squared minus the average of A to B squared. Okay? Because we'll say when you this is this is this this we'll say here is the same as this, but it's when you multiply the two of them together. So what we got is exactly what I said we'd get up here. Alright, so from now on when somebody says to you I want to uh, quantify the uncertainty, okay? The uncertainty they'll use this straight away they'll say the standard deviation is the uncertainty and what they'll they'll use this formula. But it came the whole way from back up here. You quantify the spread of your measurements away from the from the mean value, which is this given here by this angle brackets. You square it in order to get a positive quantity because we know the spread around the average is going to sum to zero. We take its average and then we square we square the whole thing to get the RMS value. So for that reason, I suppose we could have v we could have sigma RMS if you want here. Okay, that's the standard deviate the excuse me the uh, RMS standard deviation or the RMS deviation. So that's all I've got to say about that. Thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends. Subscribe to my channel. And you might also visit universityphysicstutorials.com. Thank you.